Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Yes. I wanted to talk to you as well. That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or that P? Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. Oh, this is gonna be awkward now. Oh, hey you. Hi. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Angie, we need to talk. Ooh, that sounds ominous. So, what's on your mind, babe? Well, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. I see. I, ca I came on a little too strong. It's been known to happen. I do like you, just not in that way. Gotcha. Friends it is. So anyway, what's on your mind? Seems I caught you in a rare moment of quiet contemplation. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. Wow, is business that bad? Uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. So if you would say, if I would say, oh, I like you, Angie, a lot, and they would kiss, and she would come by next morning, and she will say, oh, by the way, I'm leaving, so screw you and your feelings. So, yeah. Good that I didn't fall. Fall for her. You know? Here's your mail. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Yeah, pretty cool.
Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Oh, this one's pretty good, so I'll hmm. just... Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. Hey, Meredith! I'm up here! Hey, Robert! Wow, that's really high! What? I can't hear you! Maybe you should come down! Sorry, I can't hear you! Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Hi, Robert. That's better indeed. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Um, right. And then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. I got a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' bar. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. Wait, do I have plans? Okay, package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. It's nothing illegal, right? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Oh man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon! I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? 
Wow, can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days, so I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. I know, you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? Nah, I'm good. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. It's not what we know. It's where we go. I go wings and tell where we goodbye. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. This better be worth it. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on, hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action! Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Yeah. That should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Meredith. 
It's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'm just very busy. Sorry. All right. Hey, uh, I gotta run. Corporate lawyer appointment. Bye. go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right. But where is Frank now? Frank is not here. But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Theo Positive or that P. Today's contribution is from Matt Turney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake was a spectacle. People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. Okay, nice to meet you too. Have a good one. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself, he's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Actually, I helped out a bit when he was recording it at Jack's studio. Is that right? Now, Maureen, don't Maureen this out of proportion. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? Nah, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot.
more like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course. But it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Let's just say I'll do my best. There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. Again, she didn't pick it up. I pressed E, but she didn't pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, Thank you. That's heavier than I thought. Mail carrier Meredith. Hello, Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Brad's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith. It's not that bad. You're just jealous. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Had a few drinks here as well. Nice. It's good to hear that you're enjoying yourself. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talked to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life-changing and all that. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now, hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith, just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. 
Okay. Bye, Dad. Memories, memories, memories Of you and me Memories Oh, Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Uh-huh. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? No thanks, June. I'm good. Aw, oh, I guess I'll drink some wine by myself then. Be right back. Memories, memories, memories of you. Are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. How are you guys going to cross the border? It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blankets when we cross the border. And then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. I don't know, is it even yours to give away? Technically, no. But the owner's a good guy. We'll square it with him, don't worry. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Memories. 